Hello friends, a very good morning to all of you. So let's begin today's video of current affairs and remember the questions that I'm going to discuss in this video can be of use for your RJ Sabinabad as well as banking examinations at the level of PO. So on that note, let's begin today's video. But before that, if you are a newcomer here, then do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Also, you can join this Telegram group where you can directly connect with us. And also, we provide you with free quizzes on this group. So the link of this group is in the description below. If you want to join it, then you can just click on that link and you can join. And this is the new course for 2022 of RBI Grade B. So in this course, we provide PDFs, videos, and mock tests. And apart from all these three features, you will also get assistance for your mock interviews. Sorry, for your interviews uh, through mock interviews that we conduct. And this is the book kit that you will get under the new course. And that book kit will contain all the five books mentioned here right in front of you. Apart from this, we are also running a discount on this course that is 30%. And you can use that discount. You can avail that discount by using the RJ30 coupon code. If you have any queries related to the course, then you can just call us on the number mentioned right in front of you in your, on your screens. So this is the number which you can use to call us. Okay, so let's begin with the first question. Which ministry has launched the services e-health assistance and telecommunication OPD portal, which is short formed as Sehat OPD portal? We have Defense, Health, Home Affairs, Ayush, Women and Child Development Ministries in the options. Out of these five ministries, the right answer is option A, Defense Ministry. Now, the Sehat OPD portal has been launched for the armed forces. And what is this portal going to do? This portal is going to provide teleconsultation, that is providing medical consultation to the armed forces by the medium of online uh, sources. So basically providing the telemedical communication uh, consultancy to the armed forces. That is the whole purpose of this portal. Guys, if you can remember that there is a scheme with the same name, that is Sehat scheme, which is launched in Jammu and Kashmir. And that Sehat scheme is nothing but the Ayushman Bharat scheme that is launched in Jammu and Kashmir. So remember, you don't have to get confused between this Sehat and that Sehat. That was a scheme particularly. And this is a portal. Plus the ministries are different. That is particularly uh, provided that Sehat scheme has been launched by Jammu and Kashmir state. And the Sehat portal has been launched by defense ministry so that is the demarcation i hope that you can remember it well now i have given you the reference of ayushman bharat scheme so i would like to ask a question from you can you tell me that how many states are in india do not have ayushman bharat scheme that is your question that you have to tell me in the comment section below. okay moving on to the second question which state has announced to implement guardian ministers scheme Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu are in the options. Out of these options, the right answer here is option B, Assam. Now, Assam has announced this guardian minister's system. Now, what is this system? The system is basically providing each and every district in the state to one minister and that minister will be responsible for the overall development of that district. Guardian minister, the minister will be one who is in the guardianship of one district. That is the whole purpose of this system. Now remember that there are 34 districts in the state of Assam. So that is another fact from this news that you should be aware of. So that was all about this question. There is nothing much. And also you should remember this thing that there is a limit to the depth that you have to go into. Okay, you don't have to mug up all the facts related to all the state schemes. There is a limitation uh, to which you have to remember about the state schemes. And this limitation is this much only in this scheme. Now, my question from you is that recently the new CM of Assam sworn in. What is the name of that person? You have to tell me that. Along with the governor of the state. Okay. Moving on to the third question. Which state has announced to implement the smart kitchen scheme? Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Kerala. Out of these five options, the right answer is option E, Kerala. Now, under this smart kitchen scheme, basically low interest loans will be provided to the women in the state. Now, what is the purpose of those loans? The loan will be provided to the women in order to help them so that they can refurbish their kitchens with modern equipment. And this is going to ultimately lessen the burden of uh, workload on the women. So that is the whole purpose of the scheme. Remember, guys, here 
the smart kitchen scheme has nothing to do with the ujwala scheme of the central government do not confuse it with the ujwala scheme of the government that aims to provide lpg connections to the rural households okay smart kitchen smart kitchen is to modernize the kitchen of the women in the state of kerala so here you can remember it in this map now since we have taken up the issue of ujwala scheme so guys can you tell me that in which year was that scheme launched so that is your question for the day that you have to tell me in the comment section below and remember cover the scheme thoroughly which will ask me man okay 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 so our next question is which indian has been conferred with spain's top princess of asturias award in the social sciences category so we have the sujata b r panda amartya kumar sen b g hegre bharati pathak in the options out of these options the right answer is option c amartya kumar sen Now remember that he is also an economist and a very prominent economist. I would say that he also got the Nobel Prize in Economics. So that is also something that you should remember. Actually, I would say that the Martin Marcel is such a homely name that every aspirant would know that he is the Nobel laureate in Economics. So keeping that aside, let's discuss why has he been given this award. So he has been given this award for his tremendous work in field of uh, basically. modeling his economic theories on the basis of poverty or famine so that these kind of social evils can be reduced by keeping economics as a tool so basically that is why he has been called for this princess of asturias award now remember that this award has been given by the same name foundation that is princess of asturias foundation so remember that and this award is given by spain okay so this can be another question that can be framed in your examination Next question is Eric Carley, who recently passed away, was a dash author, journalist, shuttler, pugilist, or wrestler. So the right answer here is option A, author. So he uh, was basically a very famous children book author, and he his nationality is American. So whenever a person passes away, and if that person is a prominent personality, you should look into his nationality as well as his profession. Or if something prominent regarding that person comes up, that Also, is your responsibility to cover, okay? From exam point of view. So, for Eric Carley, he recently passed away, and remember that he is an American author and author, particularly for the children's book. So, he is famous for writing famous children's book. Okay. So that's all for today. I hope that you have enjoyed the lecture, and if you have, then do not forget to like this video and share it among your friends. Thank you so much.